Hello everyone, this is Liz with EC QuickBooks Training. Today I will be covering Pervez's question about how to make payroll liabilities in QuickBooks. So today I'm going to show you how to manually calculate your payroll in QuickBooks without a subscription. So let's get started. As you can see, QuickBooks um, offers an add-on for payroll. So it can calculate and use the tax tables that are up to date um, to calculate payroll. But let's say you want to manually do it yourself. You only are going to do it for yourself or you only have one employee and you just want to calculate it yourself. I will show you how to do that today. As you can see, you can enter new employees, but you can't really calculate paychecks. It won't let you. QuickBooks asks you to turn on payroll by purchasing a subscription. So we don't want to do that today. What we want to do is go to the help section and click on QuickBooks desktop help. And then you will see this box come up and let's type manual payroll in the search box. And you see on about the third uh, question or statement down it says calculate payroll taxes manually without a payroll subscri subscription in QuickBooks desktop. So that's what we want. We want to click on that. And then it says that they recommend that you have a subscription, uh, which I also do recommend. But if you want to continue um, doing payroll manually, go down here where it says set your company file to use the manual pay payroll calculation. So let's click on manual payroll calculations and set my payroll, my company file to use manual calculations. Let's click on that. What does it say? You must now calculate, you must now calculate and enter your paycheck amounts manually. If you currently have an active QuickBooks payroll service subscription, you must call into it to cancel it. Okay, well, we don't have one, so let's click OK. Let's close this, and oh, look, now we can enter QuickBooks paychecks. It was, this was not there before. So let's go ahead and start entering. I'm going to quickly just enter an employee and then go into process a paycheck and, um, and show you about payroll liability, uh, payroll taxes. Okay, so I added California, and in California we have these tax uh, liabilities. Um, so depending on where you are, you um, you may want to look at the um, tax section, payroll tax section for small um, businesses, and it will tell you what taxes you need to pay. Okay, so I'm going to do federal, and um, I'm going to do federal taxes, and the same applies to um, state taxes. I know what the rates are for all of these. What we're going to cover is um, uh, federal withholding. I will show you how to manually do that and where to go. So I'm going to say this employee uh, did 40 hours, so it's $800. I'm going to do federal first, and then I'm going to go over the Social Security. Now, um, this is publication 15 from the IRS, and the IRS gives you um, how to, it tells you how to calculate payroll manually. So we're going to do this manually. We're going to say that we're on a weekly schedule and we have two withholdings. This is single two. So this is to do a, um, a percentage method, and then there's a table that I will show you. So in order to start, um, and this is the, the tables that we need to use. It's a weekly payroll. Um, and depending on your payroll, you can have bi-weekly. You could have semi-monthly. So the IRS tells you how to calculate it. And then the payroll tables are further down. And this is, um, it tells you, same thing, single persons, weekly method, how much is their uh, payroll and their withholding. So let's get started on calculating. So I have $800. I'm single and with two dependents. So the first thing we need to do for the IRS federal withholding is to calculate it. And it tells us right here. It gives us help. So I have two withholdings. 
each withholding is um, 79.80. Okay, so two withholdings, each withholding is seven, one withholding allowance is 79.80. So what we need to do is multiply 79.80 by two, it gives us 159.60. So we subtract 159.60 from $800 to give us 640.40. But we're not done yet. After we have the withholdings, then we need to go to this table. So this table says if our wages is over this amount but not over this amount, then we take this. So since it's 640.40, in here in this category. So what we need to do is subtract six, uh, subtract 254 because we're not gonna do this this percentage of, of a 640. We need to subtract the excess. Uh, we need to multiply it by the excess. So 640, 40. So let's do that. Let me get my calculator. Hope you guys can see this. This is my calculator. So we're gonna do 640.40 minus 254. It's right here. That's where I got the 254. So off of this 386.40, I'm going to do 12%. So I'm gonna do times 12%. That's 46, 36, or 37, if you want to round to the 8. So I'm going to put 46, 37. So it's 46, 37. That's what we got, 46, 37, plus, you can see here, 1830. 1830. And it's 6467. I know it says 1830 plus 12%. So you can do the 386 mi minus 18, 18. But in, I, I would definitely do the 12% first. Um, and let's see if that's what the IRS example gave us. 64, 67. Yep. So that's the taxes. Now let's go to the table and see if it's the same. Remember, we're weekly with single two withholdings and our wages. Now in this case, we're not going to do the, any subtractions and this is much easier, but this is a uh, rounding off. So we're at 800 gross. So let's go to 800 gross. It's right here, 800, two withholdings and it's 64. So this rounds it off. So we're, this, we're, we're closer. The percentage met, method is a lot more accurate than the table. But if you don't want to do the percentage, you can go here to the table, look at your weekly, if they single married, and what their wages are, and boom, you can get to their taxes. So where is that going to go in QuickBooks? That's going to go under federal. So minus 64, 67. And then Social Security is 6.2% of $800, 800 times 6.2%, so that's 49.60, 49.60, and it's a negative. And uh, Medicare is 1.45%, so 800 you want to always do it from the gross payroll. 800 times 1.45 percent is 1160 for Medicare. And as you can see, I did a positive here. Here I did negatives. QuickBooks will automatically do negative. Now for California, for the state withholdings, they also have percentage and tables, so you may want to look that up. I'm just going to guesstimate, <laughs> and I'm just going to put $2. Uh, disability here in California is 1%, so I'm going to do 800 times 1%. It's 
eight. And yes, I had to use my calculator for the one percent. Okay. Um, so here is what the net pay for the employee is six sixty four thirteen. And as you can see, these are all the tax uh, deductions for the employee. But we're not done yet because there are employer taxes. There's always employer taxes. So Social Security um, is the same. Um, federal always matches what is employee. So that's 4960. And Medicare is 1160. Federal unemployment, I believe, is 0.7%. Um, and it's 800 times 0.7%. Yeah, that looks about right. So it's 560. And California employee training, I believe, um, I believe that's uh, 0.1%. Okay, that's going to be 80. And unemployment uh, company unemployment um, it varies by company um, so you have to look um, at the letter that you receive every end of the year to see what your percentage is um, in different states you it may be like a certain percentage set and it doesn't really matter on your company in California it's based on your layoffs and how many you hire it's you know that's the way it is here. Okay, so, um, and usually the default or the startup is 3.4%, so that's 27.20. So that's how you calculate uh, manual payroll taxes in QuickBooks. Um, I hope that you find this helpful. Once you save and close and you process the check, then you can, um, you can view all your, um, Payroll liabilities, if you pull your reports, let's go into employee payroll, payroll summary. You can see employee tax withheld taxes and the employer taxes that we did. So it's very important. There's always two parts to the payroll checks, the employee part and the employer part. So I hope that this has helped you. If you have any questions regarding this, um, please let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, give thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe to continue getting how to's, tips and tricks and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you on the next one.